What's going on, everybody? I am your host, Dr. Collectible, and you're tuned into Hobby Talk. Big shout out to my sponsor, Pristine Auctions, which is the number one place to receive your sports cards and memorabilia. This week episode, I got a chance to talk with Brian Lee, which is the owner of Arena Club. Guys, let's tune into this, relax, and let's vibe out. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is your guy, Dr. Collectible, and this is Hobby Talk. This is brought to you by not only Pristine Auctions, but as well Fan Arch. And today I have with me on this first episode, it's giving me its time of day. Um, this individual here, not only a great entrepreneur, but also brought us Arena Club in the hobby. And I must say, this is Brian Lee. Thank you for giving me your time. Sir. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Dr. Collectible. So happy to be here. Nah, thank you. Uh, so first off, uh, I want to talk about a little bit, just just to get into you as an individual um, and being a great entrepreneur that you are. Um, bringing Arena Club to us uh, was major. It was different. Um, the people that you have involved, Steve Nash, um, you even talking about Derek Jeter and, and, and Brian Dawkins. I mean, all these guys I like growing up. Um, I want to ask you, what, what was your thought process? When did it click for you when the dream kind of comes reality? Like, what you were just sitting back one day, it was like, yo, maybe I should get into this hobby and, and see what it's about. So, yeah, feel free to elaborate. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so. I've, I've been a collector really my whole my whole life as long as I can remember I've loved the hobby and uh, used to go to card shops on my bike and go through the you know the at that time it was the 25 cent bins and and look for my favorite yes, players and I've always just loved the hobby um, and you know all throughout my career I, I've, I've been an entrepreneur I've started companies in the past uh, and really I thought it was kind of done starting companies um, but I just realized I, I found myself Kind of going to more and more card shows and card shops. I started collecting with my son when he was about five. He's now almost 16. Gosh, I can't believe he's almost 16. But yeah, so we've been collecting together for a while. And all throughout my years of collecting, I always had, you know, issues here or there with the hobby. And I just wanted to make it better. Better for not just myself and my son, but for everyone. Um, and that was the kind of the impetus for Arena Club. It was really to try to bring a little bit more technology, uh, a little bit of innovation uh, to the hobby that, that honestly I wanted. Um, and I figured if I wanted it and my son wanted it, there's probably a bunch of other collectors who wanted it. And so, uh, arena club started with that concept in mind was to improve as much as I could, uh, on things that I thought could be improved on. And so the first was on the grading side, right? So yeah. what we do is we use AI grading mixed with humans, uh, that interact with our AI systems and um, we provide kind of fully transparent uh, grading reports with your slab that you get back. And I always wanted that. I always wanted a grading report to understand exactly why my card scored a certain way when I got it graded. So that was the first part of yes, Arena sir. Club. The second part was really kind of making the marketplace experience more seamless, right? And the way that we did mm. that, yeah, was by using vaulting uh, as well as um, blockchain. Uh, so we take your cards, we digitize them, we vault your physical card. The digital version gets put onto Polygon, which is a blockchain, and the digital version go into your online showroom. And once you have an online showroom, you can buy, sell, and trade those cards with other showrooms very quickly and efficiently without ever having to ship or your cards or you know, no more lost, no more lost uh, shipments or no more... Uh, you know, non-payments, you know, at payment is instant, you know, all the kind of things that I, I saw in other marketplaces that I wanted to improve upon. And so we did that. And then we launched Slab Packs recently, not not too long. We got yes. a few months back. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah I got to give you a round of applause on that. That has that, been a great ride. But feel yeah, I know. It's, it's, I, I wanted to bring more excitement to the hobby as well. And I, I thought, you know, opening packs digitally, and you know, chasing some really, really fun cards would be fun for the hobby. And yeah, sure enough, it was a hit. And now people are, are buying these slab packs and getting their showroom set up and adding more cards to their showroom, buying and selling and trading with each other because trading is always free at Arena Club. 
it's um it's yeah. just it's just growing it's like i i i'm i feel so uh i'm honestly really pleased with the growth of arena club i'm i'm pleased with how many people are interacting with each other we're growing our community and getting more and more people involved and it's just fun i i i absolutely love what we're doing here and i love being part of it i i i must say myself i have my own showroom i um you know have trades come through every now and yeah. then. Um, people are interested in the cars that I have. Not only that, I want to say I love the growth that I've seen yeah. from my time at the beginning, like really getting to notice what Arena Club was about, but then now seeing, you know, the slab packs and also with the transparency of, of grading, actually getting the actual results and getting not only that, a report. You getting the tr you know it's it's utilizing like like you say human and AI together you know you don't have that one person that don't want you know maybe have a bad day at yeah. work or you know maybe some things happen at home and you know <laughs> we, we always talk about that with these other great companies so not only that you have an AI help transition what grading is all yeah. about and not only that is it's helping you know the guest the customer out. Uh, but it's also building a relationship as well because not only you just have a human doing the job, you also have help, which is AI computer. Right. Uh, so technology, um, I think that's what we need to see moving forward. Um, and that probably the best possible grade that you're going to be able to get on a card these days. So I, I love the fact that you that you have actually was able to bring that up and then also speak on that in detail. Yeah, no, I, I so. mean, thank you so much for that. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I just kind of, look, I, I, I really do. I love PSA. I love Beckett. I love SGC, CGC. I, I, I really do because I, I send cards into them, you know, for, for years and years, for decades. And so, um, yes, sir. but I just, I just hope that, you know, that they also will embrace technology at some point. Right. And bring in, you know, mm -hmm. AI grading reports um, so that I can understand why I got a certain why I got an eight, why I got a nine, why I got a 10. And so I, I, I think we're kind of heading that charge in terms of grading reports. And I know TAG also is heading that charge. And I have tremendous respect for what TAG is building uh, down the road here in L.A. And, you know, hopefully we could kind of lead the charge in terms of bringing more innovation to um, to the hobby. All right, guys, so my pristine auction item that I have, I am looking at a 500 home run club ball. You have guys like King Griffey Jr., Hank Earn, Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, and many others that have signed this ball. If you're looking to get your hands on history, make sure you check out pristine auctions and also utilize the code Hobby Talk today to get $10 off your purchase. Now, when you do speak on the innovation part, I love what y'all are doing with the content creators. Y'all, somebody's working some magic back there. Because I'm, I'm, well, what I want to say is this. It is great marketing what y'all are doing where y'all are touching the people directly um, who, who has an audience in the hobby. Regardless of, you know, I, I recently, like this morning, I seen Stock and Trade, a uh, great individual, saw his video uh, recently this morning. Um, also seen what y'all been doing with other individuals. So it's like, I, I think that model, that marketing model that y'all are utilizing is getting straight to the people. Yes, um, you may want to pay for commercials, things of that nature, but when you're talking directly, getting straight to the people that are in the hobby, and also what I consider them, I, I wouldn't consider them as influencers, because, um, you know, we're, we're not here to try to influence people say, hey, this is what you need. Uh, I, I like to call it media ambassador work, where you want to expose the hobby in a great way and let people come in and have their decisions on what their thought process is. Uh, in the past, and what I tried to do with Arena Club, y'all talk about transparency. That's what I tried to bring with my content. Yeah. So I, I got to give y'all applause to that and what y'all are doing. I, I think it is great work because, um, once again, it's going directly to the people. Um, now, I know with last year at the National, 
I was able to uh, be in a room with you. Uh, you talking about Derek Jeter. Um, one of the most proudest moments of my father. Listen, that, that, that's what I'm saying. It's not not just only me. Not the, not only this company has touched me, but also my father, mm -hmm. um, which he got to see one of his favorite players ever that's and tough, have yeah. a small yeah. chat. I, that right there, even Jeter said himself, he was like, you a Cardinals fan? <laughs> he like, should have been like your dad, man. Should have been a Yankees guy. So having them moments I cherish for a lifetime um, with you and, and Derek Jeter and other individuals, um, how are they even perspective when it comes to arena club? Because I, once again, I hear nothing but great things and that, you know, these individuals want to be involved. Yeah, no, it's, it's always fun to work with world-class athletes um, who believe in you and who believe in the product. Like we, we, we like working with, um, with athletes who, who love the hobby as well. Right. And yeah, Derek, that's what I'm not. Yeah. And it, this resonated deeply with, with Derek, um, when I started talking to him about it and he really did want to get involved and he's been just a wonderful, wonderful partner and ambassador for, uh, for arena club. Um, our biggest supporter, truthfully, it's like, there's, there's nothing he wouldn't do for us. And I, I, I highly appreciate that. And so, you know, with Steve Nash and 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 Willis and and you know Drew Holiday now and and Marcus Smart and a bunch of others that just keep joining us and keep joining us on this journey, um, we plan on you know doing the most with them and they're going to help support us and uh, bring even more eyeballs, if you will, to the hobby, which I think helps everyone. Yes. Right? The more the more we get in terms of influencers such as yourself and and that we mm -hmm. work with and the athletes talking more and more about cards, it only helps all of us, right? And that's why I'm so appreciative to, to fanatics and what they're doing to increase the size of this hobby, bringing more people yeah. in. Like there, there's a stat done not too long ago that says that 60% of men born in America have cards somewhere. Right. So in a shoebox under their bed, in their closet, in their attic, you know, probably at the maybe at the mom's house, you know, somewhere. And <laughs> that's how yeah, it is. Right? That's how it is. Sixty percent. <laughs> let's bring them all out. Right. Let's 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 get them going again. Yes. Let's bring them back into the hobby and, and, and have them reminisce about how much fun they had as kids collecting cards and trading cards. And this it's like nothing makes me happier. And I know that there's a lot of guys out there and a lot of women even that, that, that want to, you know, experience what, what we're experiencing here. Dr. Collect, well, you know, you know. Yes, sir. I've, listen, I've been, well. been to the yeah. office. I, I've seen firsthand experience of um, how great the people are there to, you know, to be around in that type of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. There's not too many places where, you know, you wake up and you want to get to what you want to do. What I call it, you know, come coming into the office <laughs> and um, I, like I had that. to wear my, uh, my Kobe shirt. It. Yeah, it was only right. Um, being it. able to come to office and seeing some of the memorabilia uh, that you have, mm -hmm. Kobe wise, yeah. the black mamba. <laughs> oh my! I never <laughs> seen that before. I, I'm not sure if he ever signed Black Mamba on a lot of things. <laughs> um, and me being a Kobe guy myself yeah. and seeing that. That definitely uh, made a bigger connection, not only, you know, with me, but also just putting it out there like, yo, this man is a Kobe guy. So I, I love the fact that I saw that um, and everything else from the conversation to, to everyone that you had introduced me to. I definitely want to say it was well worth the visit. I can tell you that. And um, last, last but not least, um, I do I do want to ask you this, and um, feel free give me your thoughts when it comes to the future of the hobby. Mm -hmm. When it talks of like you know innovation, do you see uh, more innovation uh, with Arena Club on what they can do with the people? Uh, I don't know the grading process. Do you see yourself standing the tales of time when I hope that my grandkids could one day go grade their cars through Arena Club? Like, have you ever been in that process of like, yo, where could this be within the next 20 to 30 years, you know? Abs absolutely. You know, the thing here, the thing about Arena Club and the, the thing about our team here is that we will mm -hmm. constantly innovate. We will constantly push ourselves forward, right? We want to bring as much innovation as we can to the hobby. 
we we have one simple saying here is that it, it, it's it's a pretty simple one it's we're always on offense always i don't care about defense mm-hmm. <laughs> i really i'm going to score points that's what i'm going to do and i'm just going to keep outscoring people that's that's how we, we take yeah. it and the way you do that is you innovate you push boundaries and you you keep pushing forward and bringing more innovative functionality to what your platform and what you're building and so even with the grading, even with our marketplace based on blockchain, even with the slab, digital slab packs and how innovative mm-hmm. with, the, with the hit rates and everything else that we show you and you see there's so much transparency there. Everything that we do going forward, we want to be the leader, right? We're not going to just do the tried and true, right? We, we will take that, less, that road less traveled and we will keep innovating, we will keep pushing. Now some of the stuff we launch won't work. Right, but that's the beauty of it. Right. We're going to try, right? And 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 if you fail, yeah. we're going to get back up, and we're going to keep trying. But we're going to keep pushing. We're going to be the leaders. So long as we're the leader, others will look at us and 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 follow. And as long as we're following, that means we're leading, right? So we're going to keep innovating. We're going to keep pushing. That's what that's what I love to hear. Yeah. Um, when you're talking about someone that invests their time into a brand, um, that's all you want to hear back is, yo, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to open up the envelope. Like, and, and I love to hear that because, like, for me, that lets me know the time and effort that I put into a brand or that I like, whether if it's, you know, spending my money, checking out their content, anything of that nature, taking the time out my day uh, to me invest time into a brand and a brand that I love, man. Like, like I said, ah. Randy Club hat right here. <laughs> love it. It's only right. I remember uh, getting this one, I believe, at Burbank. Nice. The first Burbank show that I went to two years ago. Nice. So, yeah, stuff like that. Um, so cool. And then it's as like, you can see, uh, I, I love to hear it. So, yeah. And I always kept this hat around. <laughs> so, like, that's how much I appreciate about brands and what you have given us in this hobby um you are a part of that big grading system um all i can say is thank you for what you're doing and i appreciate you being able to have this hobby talk with absolutely daryl seriously and i, I just wa- love watching you grow you know and and watching more and more people following you because you are bringing light into this hobby and Everyone, everyone loves watching your content, and I, I think it's a beautiful thing. And even my son gets so excited when he sees you at these shows, and uh, he's like, "There's Doctor Collectible," and he runs after you. Oh, and so it's, uh, yeah, he 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 is a great individual. <laughs> the art direction, his mind is so far ahead. I want to say two weeks ago, I was on your son page. It was yeah. like two, it was like two in the morning. I had a layover. Yeah. And I seen him working with, I think it was the Legos uh-huh, uh-huh. or whatnot, yeah. or what he was built. Like, <laughs> his mom, I, I love it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you probably see me on this page. You probably see a comment from me on the few <laughs> videos like two weeks ago. You're man. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Well, thank you nah, so much. Man, thank thank you. you for having me. This has been a lot of fun. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, come by, come by anytime you want. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. And once again, everyone, this is Brian Lee. Um, He brought us Arena Club. Not only that, a great business individual, entrepreneur, uh, great mind of, you know, one of our generations, what I say. So once again, thank you. And everyone that tuned into this episode, I hope y'all get to enjoy more and more of Arena Club in the future. Once again, this show is brought to you by Fan Arch and as well, my people at Pristine Auctions. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for hopping on this week's episode of Hobby Talk. Uh, special thanks to Brian Lee, uh, which is my guest, and as well. Make sure you check out Pristine Auctions, the number one place to receive your sports cards and memorabilia. Also, don't forget to utilize the code Hobby Talk, which you can get $10 off your purchase. Once again, it's your boy The Doc. I'm out.